G'day viewers, today's video is another viewer request, this time from Miss Shell Oz, who was asking to see how I change water, because she's setting up a 200 litre tank and she wants a water change system where she doesn't have to carry all of those buckets. So Shell, I'll show you a few simple tricks that I use and a few of the gadgets that I've used, some bought, some made up, and I'll also show you how to use the legendary Colin from Aussie Aquatic approved water change device. So stay tuned. GV Aquariums Australia. Okay viewers, today we're going to do some maintenance on my 250 gallon South American tank, which provides its own challenges because it's mounted in the dining room wall and it had to be four feet off the ground so the back of those dining chairs wouldn't hit the tank, which means the top is a whopping six foot five or 195 centimetres off the ground. So even though this tank might be a bit higher and a bit larger than most, the methods I use to change water will apply to your tank at home. And so just like Shell, I didn't want to be dragging buckets all the way up and all the way down just to do a water change. I've installed a little runoff tap from the washing machine plumbing and it just runs around and comes off the edge of the stand. So at the start of any good water change, I always like to get out the gravel vac. That's not a gravel vac, that's a gravel vac. Now instead of gravel vacuuming into a bucket, we're going to connect the garden hose and run it straight out on the yard. But first we need to flush the hose out to make sure there's no spiders or any insects have crawled in there while it's been stored outside. And now I made this gravel vac to clip straight on the end of that hose and I'll show you two different methods of beginning the siphon and none of them involved sucking on the end of the hose. So in the gravel vat goes and we let all those bubbles come out and then we turn the tap on and we allow the water to force all of the air out of the line so we can start the siphon. So once we've there's no more bubbles coming out means the hose is full of water. So we hop back down and we'll turn the tap off. and then take the hose off the end. Take it outside and because that hose is full of water, when we open up the other end, that'll start siphoning out the tank. Now method two of starting the siphon is probably even easier. We just take a fitting off the hose and then duck down the pet shop and grab one of these Aqua One cheap little gravel vacs. This one was about 10 bucks, but we're not using it for a gravel vac. We're gonna take the bell off the end. And once you've done that, it slides straight over a standard 12mm hose perfectly and forms a pretty good seal. And then we give it a few pumps and that'll start the siphon. How easy was that? Now we have water siphoning out the hose, we'll give the tank a quick gravel vac. I don't really need to do it because those geophagus stir everything up pretty well but I try and get in the corners around the rocks and pick up any bristle nose poo left behind. Now that hose is draining the tank and for a smaller tank it would probably be enough but for us I think we're going to need something a bit bigger otherwise we'll be here all day. So it's time to pull out the world renowned Colin from Aussie Aquatic approved water change device. This water changer fits on any size hose. Here I have an 18 mil hose, which is bigger, which means it's gonna flow out a lot faster. It can even fit on your standard gravel vac or your garden hose at home. So we pop that in the tank and same as before, we're gonna fill it up and then start the siphon. Then run the hose out and pour some of that liquid gold onto the lawn, beautiful. So now we've got that big hose draining the tank. She's gonna drain pretty quick. So while that runs down, it's a good time to give the glass a bit of a clean. And for that, we need our glass cleaner. That's not a glass cleaner. That's a glass cleaner. How many more times do we have to do this? Yes, you guessed it viewers, something bigger and better than the norm. This is just a window cleaning squeegee. And doing this, it helps to have a spot on the outside 
to make sure you don't stick it in the gravel and scratch the inside of the glass. So now that the glass is clean and all looking pretty, all that's left to do is fix up any hardscape we might have knocked over and wait for the tank to drain. And while we're waiting for it to drain, this might be a good time to hear from today's video sponsor. When filling your fish tank, has this ever happened to you? Just got that siphon started and this happens? Tired of getting wet just from doing a water change? And you need a washing machine hose bracket. The washing machine hose bracket makes word of changing a breeze. Simply insert your hose, then place over the top of your tank. Since I've been using a washing machine hose bracket, I no longer have been spilling water on the floor. Water changes are so much easier now. Thank you washing machine hose bracket. The washing machine hose bracket is fully adjustable and slides away for easy storage. The washing machine hose bracket is the best thing I ever bought. No more struggling with those heavy buckets anymore. It really makes water changes less of a hassle. No more hoses falling out. No more struggling with those heavy buckets. The washing machine hose bracket will take the worry out of your weekly water changes. So rush out and pick up a washing machine hose bracket today. Or better yet, do one from mom when she's not looking. Get your very own Colin from Ozzy Aquatic approved washing machine hose bracket and change the way you change water today. Okay viewers, welcome back. Now we're 50% drained so we can remove the siphon hose and pull out the next weapon in the arsenal, which is my tank filler. While as this might not be as impressive as a column from Aussie Aquatic approved water change device. This is made from a piece of one inch PVC which is heated up in and bent into a U-shape. And there's a hose fitting barb on one end and I've included a thermometer for when we're filling with really cold water so we can add a bit of height to it. So there's a hole drilled in that elbow and the probe goes in and this threaded piece once screwed in holds the probe in place. So you can check what temperature the water is as it's going into the tank and adjust if required. So very simply clip the hose on, put it up in the tank, turn the tap on and away we go. And as it's filling we can check the temperature going in and if you need to add a little bit of hot you can do so. Although you don't have to go to all the effort of making a filler, you can just use a washing machine hose bracket. I cannot stress how much this thing makes life easy. And all that's left to do now is sit back and watch the tank fill up. So I hope this has given you a few ideas, Michelle, about how to make your life a bit easier with your new tank. And any other viewers out there, if you've got any comments or questions or thoughts, I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, think about subscribing. And any other videos you'd like to see, drop me a line and we'll see what we can do. So now that the tank's full, like any good kid, we pack up all our toys and put them away. Well viewers, if you're still here, thanks for sticking it through to the end. And if you like leaving likes, leave a like. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. stopping by please remember to like and subscribe and check out one of these videos